Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Nubia X, which is the closest we've really seen so far to a phone with no bezel. It's got a little bit of a black border on the left and right sides and a slightly thicker one on the top and the bottom, but there's uh, really very little of a border, and there's no notch for a camera. In fact, there is no front-facing camera, so how do you do video calls or take selfies or do the other things that people do with phones these days? Well, you can open up the camera application, and we can target using the rear camera and take pictures using the dual camera system. It's got a, a 24 megapixel and a 16 megapixel camera. I'm going to just go ahead and snap an image there. Or we can flip not the camera, but the screen. What's happened is the rear camera, or we're still using the rear camera, but now we can actually take a selfie using the rear screen as a viewfinder. So it's got a 6.3 inch full HD plus uh, display on the front and a 5.1 inch HD plus OLED display on the back. Uh, so it's actually a dual screen phone as opposed to a, a, camera, uh, a phone with cameras on the front and the back. So we can go ahead and uh, take a picture here if we wanted to using the camera shutter button and then say we're done. Let's flip the screen around. I'm holding the cam my camera in one hand, which is what's making things a little bit difficult. And then sort of exit out of that by swiping up from the bottom. So dual screens as opposed to dual cameras. And if you just flip the phone around, you can see it actually activates the rear screen. So you're only looking at one screen at a time and it's mirroring, mirroring the display. So depending on which one you're looking at, uh, is which one you see. So you can use the smaller one for everything if you really wanted to, but the main reason to use it would be if you wanted to use it as a viewfinder for taking pictures. Uh, there's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor, minimum of 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, available with up to 8 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage, 38 milli uh, milliamp hour battery, and it's uh, because of the way that it's designed, not only does it have a fingerprint sensor on the side of the phone, uh, it's got fingerprint sensors on both sides of the phone, so if you register the same finger, uh, you can use it whether you're sort of pressing it or pressing it. So uh, it's, uh, it's one of the more unusual designs that we've seen in recent years, and it seems like a kind of over-engineered solution, honestly, why have a second screen just to take selfies, but it does lead to a very slick-looking phone. Uh, the Nubia X was released recently, or introduced recently, in China. Uh, not aware of any plans to bring it to the United States, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. Nubia does, uh, did announce during the Consumer Electronics Show that they're going to be bringing their Red Magic Mars gaming smartphone to the U.S. for $399 and up. So it's a possibility that we could see this, uh, or it's a possibility that if it proves popular, we could see this sort of design on other devices in the future. Um, and it's, uh, it's a pretty neat solution if you consider the fact that the rear cameras on most phones are much better than the front cameras, and why wouldn't we want to use the better cameras to take pictures? So this is Brad Linder with the Nubia X at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, an Android-based smartphone with two screens, one on the front and one on the back.